Hey guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly stack your videos in DaVinci Resolve. Even though it might sound very simple, this trick will save you a lot of time when you are editing. With this method, which is quite popular on social media, your work is also presented in a very stylish way. So yeah, we can look at the short video I shared recently as an example. As you can see, four video clips are stacked on different layers. There is a color adjustment clip above them. And at the very top, there are texts. Now let's quickly do the same on a new timeline. First, let's add all the videos to the timeline. We don't need the sounds, so I'm deleting them. When I first started with DaVinci, I used to try to do this with the crop tool. As you can see, this is an unnecessary effort. And it's also very difficult to place all the videos equally. Anyway, now let's move on to our effect. Select the first clip, click on the effects menu. From there, find the video collage effect and drag that onto the video clip. Now we will make changes from the effects section on the right. First, let's check the preview layout box. By doing so, we will be able to see where the videos will be placed. Since there is one column and we have five video clips, I will create five rows. Let's also set the margins to zero, so there won't be any gaps between them. I will set the rounding to zero as well. The effect is almost ready. Now we will add the videos. I'm selecting the tile menu. From the workflow, select the create tile option. Since tile one is selected, our video will be in the first row. Let's close the preview. And as you can see, our first video is in the first row. Now let's add the other videos one by one. I'm selecting the first clip, press Ctrl C or Command C, select the other video and press Alt V. I will only select plugins from the window that opens up because we didn't change anything else and then click on apply. Then select the top clip, go to effects. From there, select tile two. And as you can see, the second video is in its place very easily. I will quickly add the effects to the other videos and change their positions. Also, reframing is very easy this way. If something in your video is out of place, you can adjust its position from the video transform settings. So this is the result and we did it in like less than five minutes. Let's add the color layer as well. And I think it looks pretty nice. I actually did the color grading very quickly. I can show you a bit of that too. So let's hop onto a color page. I use the Dehancer plugin. I think it's one of the most useful tools on the market. I still use it for many client projects. This is before and this is after. It has a very nice color palette. There's a CST, meaning color space transform, in the previous note. It's transformed from Sony to Rexona 9. Let's take a closer look at the adjustments in the Hanser. At the very beginning, I made some exposure and white balance adjustments. Then I selected Kodak Vision 3 250D for film emulation. In the film developer menu, I played with the contrast and color boost settings. I am toggling it on and off and you can see it has a significant impact. Film compression is one of my favorite dehancer feature. As long as I don't overdo it, I think it adds a cinematic touch. I adjusted the blacks with the expand settings. For print, I chose Kodak 2383. Then I made some small changes in the color head. For effects, there is a small amount of grain, halation and blue. So finally, this is the result. Well guys, that's the end of our quick tutorial. Please let me know if this effect helps you. And I hope the next video you share using this method goes viral. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in the future videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.